On December 17th, a massive fire struck downtown Kingston, forcing many to evacuate their homes. Mayor Gerritsen spoke directly to QTV. The fire itself only lasted uh, uh, for a few hours before it was well maintained and under control by the uh, Kingston Fire and Rescue. What we dealt with in the few days following that was the actual crane that was still in place there, which there was a threat of that falling for quite some time. So once we got that down, um, we were able to then start to investigate the fire and uh, try to determine what the next steps would be. Well, there were two, two forms of displacement, short-term displacement and long-term. The short-term affected individuals who lived within the area that needed to be evacuated because their power had been uh, shut off or, or gas services have been shut off. The long-term displacement are the ones that were, their buildings were actually damaged by the fire itself. We noticed right away I got up to, you know, get a drink and when I came back I felt heat through our window yeah. and I looked out and sure enough the building was on fire. We sadly won't be going back. Um, the damage was so bad to our place that they had to demolish it. It was deemed unlivable. Our lives were, were in that house, you know, and it's, it's all gone. Across the street there was a duplex on Princess Street that had to be demolished. Um, the Legion Villa had significant damage to it. There were a number of different um, uh, individuals in the area that were affected by this. We were a bit up the way and our building is all brick but uh, we were evacuated. We had to get uh, we had to get out of there pretty quick actually. I lost three days worth of pay over a hundred dollars. We lost sales, we lost customers. My good friend was evacuated from her place and couldn't go back to get her uh, hairstyling equipment that she needed for work. She did lose a couple of days of work over it, not having her equipment. So yeah, it did affect her, you know, her paycheck. I think it's something like 96 or 97 percent of the residential properties in Canada are made out of wood. I mean, wood is an extremely um, accessible resource uh, if you live in Canada. If the building had been fully built up, I don't believe it would have burnt the same way. At least that's what the professionals tell me because many different fire suppression techniques and tools would have been in place to prevent that from happening. That much wood for a building that big just does not seem safe. Like it was apparently to code, but it, it doesn't seem safe to build with that much wood. We had a major fire on our hands um, that had the potential of impacting many, many people um, in a way that we were very fortunate it didn't. Uh, nobody was seriously injured or died. Despite the severe damage, Kingstonians are still able to see the silver lining. The Kingston School of Art was across the street from the apartment building that was under construction. Paintings in the gallery didn't melt, no one was hurt. And that was a good outcome, considering how devastating it could be and that the winds were actually going in the right direction. Good things come out of bad things, you know? You have to be grateful.